fate has smiled on these teams once, which team will catch your eye again in this second round matchup between the Xavier Musketeers and the Illinois Fighting Illini? This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Fighting Illini looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. Number one, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Second, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. And finally, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Number 34 receives the pass. Way off target. Number one handles the feed. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The point guard receives the ball. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. For two, perfectly executed. Look out. That sends a message to the screener. Work it around the arc. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Off the rim and no good. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Number 55 is feeling great out there right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Look to get it to the inside. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Number four fakes the shot. And he'll kick it back outside. Stop and pop. Gets it to fall. Dumps it in. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Working it around the perimeter. The shooting guard handles the pass. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Trying to feed inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Looking for a good shot. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. On the inside, he looks for the bomb. Way off target. Full court pass. There's the pick. There's the roll. Can't get the shot to drop. Trying to go inside. Jump hook from the low post. 
I'll tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Gets the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. And there's a lazy pass that's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Nick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. On the outside, entry pass in the paint, trying to draw some contact. Contact causes the shot to come off. Got the high pick. Off the rim and no good. He attempts the trifecta, sinks it. Both teams looking to get things going here. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Snatches it away. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way and the spin back the other way. He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. He bombs from outside. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. He pulls the trigger. Buried it. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. There's a double team waiting there. And they get the turnover. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's a double team. Number 42 with the theft. They work it around the perimeter. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Tries for two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. For two, and he missed. The skip pass is picked off. Slam jam, bam, up and away, the elevator man, they love it. Up and 
inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Number one draws the personal. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Makes the second shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post-play because that gives you inside-outside action. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? On the inside, he makes a nice shot fake. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He up fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. Number 25 makes a great move to draw the foul. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. The Fighting Illini will step to the line for the first time. Free throw is good. Misses it. Tears it away. Fill the lane. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? For the bucket. In and out. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tempo to game. Really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. the pass in the paint and a slam and we'll go to the free throw line he sinks it He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. screen puts it up looking for contact fakes the shot trying to stay with him defensively down he goes oh what an acting job there's no doubt in my mind he's flopping baby 
Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. They still don't score. That's basic. The crowd really admires the shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. Number three to the line, shooting one. Misses the free one. Tries a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. For two, and off the mark. They're working around the arc. Problem with that when you front him, you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you front him. He attempts the three, way off target. Working it around the perimeter with a bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Moving it around the perimeter. A high screen. Looking for a good shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries to get the D to bite. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes up for two. And in and out. Tries for two. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responsible. There's the rejection. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The fighting Illini have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, trying to make the spectacular play, and now he's embarrassed. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Jump hook from the low block. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They're working around the perimeter. He's open if he wants the shot. There's a high screen. Number one picks up the foul. First personal foul.
He goes to the line for the first time. It's good. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Fakes a jumper. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They get out on the break. Xavier are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. In the paint. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He dials long distance. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, it really gets a hand in the way. They'll work it around the arc. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. Spacing. Intercepted. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For two, he knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Three. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Coming inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Double team now, bad angle. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. For the bucket, easy one. At the half. The Fighting Illini are down by four. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Illinois came up short on the rebounding end in the first half, that's for sure. And the ball will continue to bounce towards the opposition as long as they fail to seal off and block out their guys. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. For two, doesn't go. The Musketeers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Applying lots of pressure, Brad. And looking for the steal as well. We're 
Working it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. They work it around the perimeter. Pump fakes. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the outside. Takes away the pass. Another turnover created by Great D, Brad. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Great defense. Up fake. There's the trap. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Number one with the steal. Defensive transition's been very good. the perimeter he intercepts it here they go into the break takes the pass in the paint kicks it out he takes the shot from the baseline off the rim and no good he attempts the three he got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen now they're working around the perimeter he shoots from left of the circle, drains it. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Lazy pass. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for contact. Finger roll. it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Xavier have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They strip them in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Number 42 is whistled for the foul. Third personal foul. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Second one is good. That's an eight-zip run. Looking for a good shot. He lets it go. Rims out. For two. Ooh. 
Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. The center takes the feed. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Working it around the perimeter. In the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The ball goes out of play. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He hits it. That's a nice looking play right here. I post blocked. Nice job defensively. Got an open look if he wants it. Tries a three. He missed. Picks off the lazy pass. The point guard takes the pass. He shoots from long range. Buries it. There's a double team waiting there. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Went away from the post and goes the other way. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses the three. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. For two, perfectly executed. He couldn't come up with it there. Hey, it's a long run back if you miss the steal. In the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. He gets that one to fall. The dribble gives it up. Picked out of the air. Number one is charged with the foul. Second personal foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. Second one is good. The Fighting Illini are behind by seven. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For 
the bucket. In and out. He intercepts it. This Vanessa looks like they'll be an easy two here. Up and inside. Picked off. It's the Nestle easy bucket coming here. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Tickles a twine. The Musketeers lead by nine. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. With a thundering swat. off the pass. On the outside, with a deep shot from outside. He gets that one to fall. Push it up basketball, help one another, communicate. He unloads. It's good. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Controlling the ball. They've left him completely alone. He gets the bucket to fall. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. He wants a three. He gets it to fall. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Three second call. He got caught camping. Two sweet looking shots. He is super. He really is. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Five second call approaching. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The center gets the ball. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Up and inside. He gives him the fake. He shoots. 
That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Gave it up. The shooting guard with the ball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post... There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're back. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. They work the perimeter. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Illinois is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Takes the pass in the paint. He strips him clean. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. You've got that right, Brad. That ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Finger roll. The Musketeers are ahead by five. The power forward gets the pass. Strips the ball. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He gets it to fall. From way outside, he gets it to go. two and he missed for the deuce great play to take that to the basket the musketeers have a mismatch in the post they need to get him the ball there dig i think there's a mismatch in the post it's definitely a mismatch there's the screen up on top. Shot rejected. On the run. He drains the bucket. Now they work it around the perimeter. Cross court. Fakes it. He shoots from right of the circle. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Great defense. Looking for a good shot. Robs him of the ball. from long range and he can't hit the shot he takes the shot off the baseline off the rim and no good here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer there's the fake they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works Number one takes the pass in the paint. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Nice fake. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that.
He'll kick it back outside. Sets the screen for his teammate. Rims out. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if he were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. He shoots from outside. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Definitely a foul. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them down. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. the shot if he wants it he takes the shot he's taking a lot of bad shots out there dick i know he's trying to catch fire brad but it's just not there intercepted looking for a good shot that's a high post screen goes to the lane the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Another brick, baby. Give it a new arena. They have the power to send them to the line and hope they miss. Well, it's time to start fouling. they got to stop the clock. Dick. It looks like they're going to slow the game down by fouling, Brad. Number 30 makes his debut into the game. I think this kid comes in with fire, Brad. He really knows how to bring it. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. No rebounding that. Hits the second. They need to score here to turn this into a one-possession game. Timeout's call. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they change things up a little bit, Brad. On the outside. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And he misses the shot. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. They'll so get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Foul shot, no good. Timeout's call. Hey, the coach was just talking about how they're going to overcome this big deficit. Let's get ready to resume the action. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team.
Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Xavier graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.